5th of Safar, on this day in the year 61 AH, the daughter of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Sayyida Ruqayya, passed away in Sham. She was present in the tragedy of Karbala and was amongst the captives that were taken to Syria. According to some reports, it was during this captivity in Syria that led to her martyrdom at the tender age of just three. It has been narrated that when the household of the Prophet entered upon Yazid in the city of Syria, he put them in a specific broken house with no shelter above and it was in this house that they mourned. Our master, Imam Hussein salam, had a three-year-old daughter called Ruqayya. One night, the three-year-old daughter woke up from her sleep and started crying, Where is my father Hussein? I saw him in my dream, extremely worried. The ladies and the children started to cry and began to wail. Yazid was asleep. He awoke and started to investigate. It was brought to his attention at what had happened. The accursed person said, Go and take the head of her father and place it next to her. The head of Imam Hussein salam was wrapped in a silk cloth. They brought the head and placed it in front of her and removed the cloth. The daughter of Aba Abdullah started to ask, Whose head is this? They said, It is the head of your father. She lifted it from the platter and hugged it and started to cry, O oh my beloved father, after you, who can we give our love to? O oh my beloved father, who will look after the orphans until they grow up? O oh my beloved father, who will be the guardian of the weak ladies? O oh my beloved father, if only I had died before, I would not have seen your face covered in sand. She then kissed the lips of her father and began to cry intensely until she fell unconscious. When they tried to wake her up, they realized that her soul had left this world. Sayyida Zainab and Imam Zain al Abidin then took her tender body and buried it there in Sham. Now there is a dhari upon her grave and mu'mineen from all around the world visit her grave yearly.